Welcome to our annual Live United Awards. We are your United Way of the Midlands campaign co-chairs. I am Kevin Lindler with First Citizens Bank and with me is Dr. Rosalind Ardis with Benedict College. Thank you, Kevin. Today we're here to celebrate everyone who proved over the last year that passion defies distance. We appreciate every person who continued to show up, to support each other, and to live united. We also want to be sure to thank our annual sponsors for, the continued, for their continued support. Visionary sponsor is BB&T, now Truist. Champion sponsor, Ag First Farm Credit Bank and Colonial Life. Investor is Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Carolina. And supporter, Burr Foreman McNair, First Citizens Bank, Lexington Medical Center, Nelson Mullins, and Wells Fargo. Thank you also to the United Way Board of Directors for their contributions, so far giving $215,000. That represents an average gift of $5,972. Well done. Before we get to our awards presentation, we wanted to take a moment to look at how United Way has ramped up its effort to help our neighbors who needed it most this year. From taking our volunteer tutoring program from in-person to virtual and reaching out a hand to help those who lost wages during COVID-19, let's look at how we've stayed strong and how we've stayed united. We've always been interconnected, interdependent, united. And that's never been more apparent than right now. What we do together today will determine how we live united tomorrow. This is our community. We're still stepping in and serving others. It may look a little different. We may need to keep our distance, but that won't keep us apart. We're still focused on what matters, and that will never waver. Stay strong, stay united. And if you're able, give for your neighbors who need help the most. Solving our community's most daunting social problems takes long-term solutions. No nonprofit is as uniquely positioned to do this as well as the United Way. And we couldn't do it without the support from near and far, from large companies and small businesses and everyone in between. We want to thank our campaign committee for their hard work all year. And now, let's recognize our award-winning campaigns. Our first award goes to the South Carolina Office of the State Auditor for Best in Class for Public Sector for less than 100 employees. The United Way has always been an organization that I see invest in the local community. We believe that as stewards of our resources that it's, it's important to give back to the community and as a company, I, I really think that being generous with our resources really goes hand in hand with the, the overall attitude and sort of what our office is about. Our office is one of the agencies that really looks out for the state of South Carolina and make sure that its resources are being spent responsibly. It feels great to win this award because it means that we're accomplishing our goal of helping the community. It means that we're making enough contributions to make a difference in our area, which is exactly what we want to do. I'd like to thank our State Auditor George Kennedy and our Director of Administration Cindy Hugenboom for spearheading this campaign for us and everyone in the office who participated by contributing to the cause. 
And our next award goes to Columbia Housing for best in class for public sector with 100 or more employees. The United Way campaign is extremely important to Columbia Housing. Our residents benefit from the resources that are provided by United Way. And so for us, we recognize that we have a responsibility beyond being a housing provider to also connect families to much needed community resources. And United Way is one of those agencies that has been a tremendous partner in providing those resources to the families that we serve. We do this work not because we're required to. We do it because we, we know deep from within that it really does make a difference. And we know that each dollar that we provide, it's multiplied tremendously throughout the community. The recognition is, is wonderful, but we don't do it to be recognized. We do it because we know that it really changes people's lives. The next award goes to Elliot Davis for best in class for less than 100 employees. Elliot Davis, we really truly value our partnership with United Way and are just thrilled to participate in the campaign year after year. And what I truly value about the work you guys do is you really seek to invest our money in the community. You don't just put a band-aid on a problem. You, you seek to look for ways to truly make a, a large impact in a truly meaningful, long-lasting way. The city and the surrounding areas have provided a whole bunch to us, and it's only proper that we give back. Thank you for this award. This means a whole lot to us because it really shows that we're living up to our values and mission. And the main part of that mission is to have a positive impact on our community in whatever little way that we can. I'd really like to thank the whole team because everybody participated and contributed. But if I had to mention anybody, it would probably be Jackie Holford and Chandler Hendricks who ran our campaign. They did a fantastic job. They really united everybody. Congratulations to our next award recipient, Nelson Mullins for best in class for employees of 100 or more. When Nelson Mullins sees a way where its coordinated effort can have a kind of a strong impact. It's a natural relationship for Nelson Mullins to want to join with the United Way and really focus our giving efforts through the United Way. They do a great job of bringing together some of the best community and charity organizations in the state and locally within our own community. We can see the direct impact that we're having through our gifts and our volunteerism. We're just able to support these great causes because of what the United Way is doing. Also, we have great leadership in the office, both with Sally Caver and Firmwide with Jim Lehman, who make the campaign such a priority. I also definitely want to thank everyone in the Nelson Mullins family, including everyone who donated a dollar for Jeans Day or a hundred dollars, any amount makes an impact. I also want to thank our campaign coordinator, Court Walsh, and his team. Our final two awards are for our community champions. First, we want to recognize Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Carolina for most dollars raised. Blue Cross is involved with the United Way because of the connection it has with the community and how many lives it touches through the Reading Consortium, um, transitions, all the different avenues, and we can touch so many different lives with the amount of dollars that we can raise. As a corporation, we promote why it's so important to support the United Way of the Midlands. Because we live, we work here, we have family, friends, and people need help sometimes. And to have an agency so strong to able to support the people in their communities is huge, and that's really the gratification I get out of it. I would like to say thanks to all of our Blue Cross employees who contribute. They go above and beyond every year and whether they contribute through payroll um, deduction or one-time check or participating in an event, um, just thanking the employees because that's where the dollars comes from. The employees take ownership of this campaign and it's grown exponentially over the years. Because of that passion of our employees to help the community and the United Way, it's been awesome. And our final Community Champion Award goes to Publix Supermarkets for Best Overall Campaign. The main thing that Publix Supermarkets gets out of uh, the United Way campaign is just that community impact and really seeing 
uh, uh, individuals that uh, have a need. We have associates in our stores that also are impacted through the United Way uh, that might be going through an adverse or a tough time. We had an associate um, that was uh, discovered to be sleeping in her car. The manager at the time, Francis, called the United Way. They immediately responded. They actually helped get into a house. They paid utilities and I was amazed by that and, and from that day I've been just all over United Way. The, the impact that we have and that we make on an annual basis, it couldn't happen without the 7,000 plus leadership givers that contribute uh, millions of dollars every year to the United Way. Uh, thank you Publix, thank you Publix Associates, thank you Publix Leadership. Uh, as we continue to uh, go do the right thing and serve. For the past two years, it has been a pleasure, a privilege, and a true honor to serve the community as one of the campaign co-chairs. Once again, I want to thank all of our volunteers and our staff for their hard work and dedication. We have all worked hard and we set the bar high for this year with a goal of $7.9 million. I am thrilled to announce that based on current projections, we expect to raise $8.1 million this year. Now, I want to call on our fearless leader, Sarah Fawcett, to come up for a few final remarks. Rosalyn and Kevin, thank you so much for your campaign leadership over the last two years. You really have stepped up and ensured that this community had resources available to meet the direct assistance needs that we've had during this time of crisis, but also to have the resources available to meet the ongoing needs that our community had pre-pandemic. Thank you both so much for your time, your passion, your energy and talents that you've devoted. You have been terrific campaign co-chairs. I don't know about you, but as I look back over this past year, it is going to be one that I will never forget. But I also want to extend a special thank you to everyone that put out their hand to lift up a neighbor who gave a little bit more this year, who put on a mask, rolled up their sleeves and went out and volunteered. You are United Way. You are the way that we meet the needs of this community together. Now, before we conclude, there's one more award that we need to give. We have recognized a number of outstanding organizations in this community today, but we want to take a moment and award our Spirit of the Midlands Award for 2020. This award goes to an organization that has really shown outstanding leadership in their time, in their resources, in the brain power, in the manpower that they've given to the community in support of the United Way's programs, supporting financial stability, education, and health. And this year, I am particularly pleased to award the Spirit of the Midlands Award to Ag First Farm Credit Bank. You all have just shown outstanding leadership this year. We are very grateful, and you are making a difference in the community. So thank you everyone for all that you've done for this year's campaign. We thank you for joining hands with us and we thank you for Living United. Congratulations to the following award winners. 